Good morning, Class of Aldi. We have made it to Wednesday hump day. We're halfway through another week of remote learning. And as promised, we have our every other day mystery guest. It's a brand new mystery guest. Everybody, let's see for the first time what Mrs. Peyton has to say to us. Hello, Vivaldi, and how are you all doing? Hope you're doing fine and enjoying your um, your learning that Mr. Cole's been setting you. I'm sure it's really exciting. Um, I've had a fab time so far. Um, it's a bit bizarre being at home and not being at school at all. But I've done um, lots of um, schoolwork and lots of gardening and just enjoying the sunshine. Um, while I've got your attention, uh, your parents would have been emailed out a couple of letters. One about a virtual game, sports games activity that you can do, and our school can win prizes. Um, so I'm going to join in on that. Uh, this week, you have to do a hockey activity. It sounds fab. Um, so do that, because then we can win, you know, instead of command the best. And the other one is about making an eco brick. I made one, and then at school, or when we return, we're going to make some sort of wall or a, um, I don't know, a chair or something like that. So have a go at those. Um, so that's it, really. So uh, it's nice to see you all. I hope you're keeping really, really safe and that Mr. Cole is keeping your minds working. Um, and I can't wait to see you very soon. Please take care of yourself and love to you all. Right. Thank Bye. you so much, Mrs. Payton. We can't wait to see you again. Right. Thank you so much for doing it, dear. See you later. Bye. Right, weren't we lucky to have Mrs. Payton and she was introducing our brand new challenges. Now you might say, why is he opening the curtains? Because it took me and Mrs. Payton about 20 minutes to film that without getting the same reflection that I'd had last week with poor, poor, poor Mrs. Oakley, who I don't think has forgiven me after that very, very poor quality um, video I produced last week. But lovely, and I do hope you guys are having a go at those activities that Mrs. Payton has sent through. Right then, gang, how are we? We've made it to Wednesday. We've had a busy week. We've, some, we've had some challenging activities. Let's see what activities tomorrow is going to bring us. So then, we have got maths. Now, today's was a tricky math. No, yesterday's was a tricky maths. I know you're wise to the fact that it's Tuesday afternoon, but I'm speaking as it's Wednesday morning. Yesterday's was tricky. Today's is tricky too, but I really like today's because it links back to area and perimeter. I mean, it is pretty challenging. There'll be some questions we can have a go at, some we can't. But like today's, pick and choose. I'll be really proud of you. I think the thing that makes this one harder is not being at school. And that's the thing sometimes, isn't it? But give it a go because it's all for your learning. It's all in the curriculum. It's all things we should cover by high school. So I want to give you the chance to have covered everything we should have. English. Finish off those Darwin biographies. I can't wait to see them finished. I bet they're super. I really want to hear your take on his interesting life. He's a fascinating gentleman. And um, he loves animals. So, of course, we love him. Creative. Oh, I like this lesson. You're going to be looking at some unique Galapagos animals. The, the animals that you can't find anywhere else in the world. I mean, obviously, you'll say there's birds everywhere. But the birds and the tortoises, as you'll have discovered so far, and the seals are unique to that island in many, many ways. You're going to pick your favourite unique animal and then tell me all about it. Can't wait to hear from you about that. So in a sciencey activity today. So, this week I have been lucky enough to receive work from Abby, Flo, Raya B, George M, Lily, Joanna and James. I would love to not just see work, but see photos. What are you up to? What, what's what been going on with you guys? If you don't want me to put them on the website, just tell me. But I'd just love to see what you're up to. And if you want them on the website, I'm happy to put them up there. So it'd be lovely to see what you've been up to, whether it be work, whether it be craft, whether it be anything. I just want to hear from you all, especially people I haven't heard from for a while or at all. Okay. Galapagos Adventure Plans. That was quite a big task. I've given you two afternoons. You might need more, but I've had some super ones sent in by Raya B and Flo. They are fantastic. You will see them on the... Raya B's, I believe... My brain might already be on the website. The days are almost... Yes, Raya's is already on the website. Flo's will be going on today. <sighs> Saved it there. I'm so impressed with the quality of work, girls. It really is brilliant. And I bet the rest of you have done a great job as well. Keep keeping busy because it's all very... Let me take you to the window. We've had such lovely weather since we've been um, at home. But 
today. It's just got a, we well, can't really see much. Yeah, it's just got a bit rainy and dreary, which is really disappointing. But keep active, keep busy inside, jump on those YouTube exercise videos, crafts, have a bit of a movie, but don't overdo the telly because it gets boring. But keep yourselves busy. If you've got younger siblings, remember it's harder for them, so help your parents. Right then. That takes us up really to the end of today. Another mystery guest, another day. Tomorrow, it's um, a mystery location day. Where will I be tomorrow? Let's hope the weather's good because I don't want to have to walk in the rain. Mystery guest on Friday, which is something to look forward to. And next week, we have live stream, the second, coming up. Right, guys, hope you had a super Wednesday. I'm super proud of you. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all on Thursday for another daily message in a mystery location.